Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is the final part of Cutie Boots in a Pumpkin. And if you want to know more about Inktober and all the materials that you use for it, check out part one in this series. I'm going to be using Art Rage for Android. And in this section, we're going to go ahead and just finish up all the final inking details. So here I'm working on the grass and trying to get more colors for the background of the grass. And I'm adding in different colors of green. And if you're following along traditionally, the watercolor names are going to vary, but some of them are called spring green and pine green. And and just whatever the brand name is that it'll just vary from brand to brand so and i'm also working a little bit on cutie boots right here he's i just wanted to kind of adjust the shape of his legs and on the side here and his fur just a little bit and so I kind of was smudging it out and adding a little bit of a, a darker color there just to, to give it a better shape. And then I went back and worked on the grass. And this is the point where you're going to kind of skip around in your picture and just see what needs to be worked on and, and work in different spots in different places. So right now I'm adding the grass in and I'm using the technical pen in ArtRage for Android because it makes pretty good thin strokes, which is what I want here. And I'm adding all different kinds of green. And so if you have pens that have several different colors of green, just use that. You can also use some of the Posca pens that are kind of a paint if you want to use a lighter color. And so I'm just kind of adding in all different colors of green here. And then I smudged them out a little bit here. And if you do this traditionally, be careful. If you have a ink that will smear with uh, water because it can get too smudged. So you want to be careful that way. You might just want to add more watercolor over some of your ink strokes. If you have a waterproof ink, that would probably be the best. And so anyway, then I'm just refining the, the grass a little bit more and we're bringing it up over the bottom of the pumpkin because we want to give it that three dimensional look and make it look like the pumpkins are sitting in the grass. So just go ahead and <clears throat> work on that and also, you can continue refinements a little bit on the pumpkins, just kind of darken in the, the features on the jack-o'-lantern a little bit, and you can make it sort of a dark brown. I wouldn't go totally black because we kind of want to show that they look like they're three-dimensional and there's a little bit of light shining in them. Of course, you don't want the candle on if you have a cat inside the pumpkin. So that's why the, the pumpkins are dark. Although you could light up the jack-o'-lantern on the right side if you wanted to. But you kind of want your focus to be on the cat in the middle. And if you lit up the jack-o'-lantern on the side, I think that would kind of draw away the focus. And you want it to be on your cat. So here I was just working a little bit on the straw and the hay around him again. Just kind of refining that a little bit and just looking around and seeing the final details that need to be added here. And it's kind we're kind of at a point where we're almost through. We're just sort of tweaking things a little bit, adding a little bit more grass. You might add a little bit more dark refine cutie boots' face just a little bit and here I thought his paws might have been a little bit too big so I smudged them out a little at the bottom and if you're doing this traditionally just use some gouache maybe or kind of just lift out that paint and just kind of go back over it again 
And so this is the end of Cutie Boots in a Pumpkin. And I thought I would show you some of the things I've done in the past for Inktober. I did a creepy doll. This is La Llorena. Here's a ghost in a pumpkin. This is a haunted house. And then I did a skeleton band. And so far that's really all that I've done for the past Inktobers. But it's really a lot of fun and I would recommend that anybody try it and you can try it digitally or you can try it with just traditional ink. You know, it's just about having fun and and practicing your drawing skills. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned for a brand new video coming soon. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I will catch you later.